This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freekeen.com. Where are you going? Taking a walk. No. no you can't go up the right. It's not an option. Stop. 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 Stop right now. Well, they became more humane, or at least put on a more humane face, and probably because of the internet. The Ed Brown standoff, quasi standoff at Plainfield, New Hampshire, that took about six months to resolve if you started on the day where he stopped going to court. And again, there was a different sort of thing that came into play from what you saw in these earlier standoffs. Instead of, uh, you know, traditional standoffs, you saw parties at the Browns' place where, you know, as many as probably 300 people would show up and, you know, just hand the Browns money and eat hot dogs. And although Brown was kind of nutty, and he also was not a liberty activist per se, Elaine was not nutty. And although they weren't particularly popular, there was still a, a, at least some debate as to whether or not something bad should happen to them. At least there was a chance for this to really be before the public and both sides kind of to be heard. Not just, look at these wackos. Again, both an improvement in the level of humanity on the part of the government and also an improvement in the activist response. I guess it would have been a year or two later that another big challenge would have been Bradley Manning. I think the government really failed that one. and, and uh, they, they, uh, they, That one was an indication that things were getting worse. Uh, that guy was punished for trying to kill himself. The sentence was crazy. But on the other hand, if you think about it, there was a pardon. So, yeah. It all could have been worse. Follow that up with the Julian Assange, uh, the attack on him, and we start to get closer into, okay, the, the liberty activists aren't losing this time. They're not quite losing. At least he's still able to function from the Ecuadorian embassy. It's not a win. It's probably a draw. Next, Snowden. Now, the lengths they went to to get that guy were just something to behold. I never would have thought. Like, uh, stopping the, the, the plane carrying the, pre wasn't it the, the president of, of uh, Bolivia or something like that? They were just, they, were, they lost their minds. And, I mean, the gains they would have made by capturing Snowden would have been very small compared to the losses they suffered uh, in, in going around not capturing him. And everybody was talking about it, a movie was made about him, which was pretty sympathetic. There's a pretty sympathetic one made about Julian Assange. And Okay, so Snowden, that's a win. Snowden wins. Now, maybe he dies in a year and loses at that point, or something along those lines. So far, it's a win. Uh, but and the, and the Bundys would be another case uh, around the same time where you start seeing, yes, there's, uh, there, there's wins and losses on both sides. It, it seems to so far be playing out to sort of a draw. The local support that the militia types seem to be getting is fairly high, best I can tell. Considering the number of people who have been involved in this, uh, we're all lucky that the death count has been so low and that the liberty-leaning side has been as restrained as it has. The Jerry DeLamus thing, huge loss. Uh, an indication of a government expanding its uh, attacks. The um, uh, DeLamus was the, the uh, New Hampshire guy who was arrested and connected in connection with the uh, Bundy slash Malheur standoffs. Probably, mostly, just for flying to those states and wearing desert camo. A uh, major injustice and a reminder that there's only so much New Hampshireites can do to protect themselves at this point. But by and large, I, I'm tempted to see progress here. And again, you you uh, you look at the uh, history of how easily the Federals may have been able to do certain really crazy things in the past compared to how difficult it may be becoming for them now. The trend over the last 20 or 30 years seems to kind of be in our favor. 
actually being able to protect a person for a period of time against the world's government, basically, the, the one world government, which is Washington, even small victories are something to be really proud of. And some of these are not so small. What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details visit freekeen.com She thought she was gonna die, but she didn't. He thought he could never cope, but he could.